everybody. Um, I am here today to create index card a day, the ICAD uh, for day four, even though it's the fifth. Um, I took the day off yesterday, went to the movie, and uh, spent the day with my son. And anyway, so I'm going to create both the cards for the fourth and the fifth today. Um, I did go to the movie, as I mentioned. I went to see Sound of Freedom. I hope you will go to see it. Reportedly, they're expected to gross $20 million in the first week. So it's a very popular movie, and it is based on a true story. So I hope you will go to see it. So the first thing I want to do, this is my second attempt at this video because I was trying to get open this golden, heavy body, Payne's Gray uh, paint. So I managed to get the top off after I stopped it and worked with the, with, um, the, um, top a little bit. I finally got it open. Um, <clears throat> okay. So the, the first thing I want to do is I want to put some of this Payne's gray down and I'm going to use a circle. This happens to be the top of a, of a uh, lemonade that my kids like my kid his kids and my grandson like so that's what I'm going to use to make my circles um there's a big blob that isn't very attractive um let's see I'm going to take that off and try to get it down to where it's just a circle Okay, so that's my odd number, which I like to use, um, of circles of sorts. They're not exactly circles, but anyway, um, I'm going to try to get a little bit more of that off. I've got a hair on my palette knife. Okay, so next I'm going to use just a regular pencil, which has got paint on it. We will wipe it off, so I may, maybe I won't get quite as much paint on my hands and it we're you know I'm just randomly going through um, all over this card um, I did pick up some of the paint and move that and that's fine um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down uh, my tea bag no I'm not I'm gonna put down a piece of um, sheet music and because this is delicate, normally I would have made a sticker out of it, but because this is a, an old, old piece of, of sheet music, I'm going to um, put it down with matte medium. And as you know, this is running out. Um, okay, so here we go. I think I've pretty well got that covered. I put that down, covering up some of my circles, but not all of them. I'm just gonna lay it down as best I can and then smooth it over with the palette knife. Now I'm gonna put down some, um, this tea bag. Now, the tea was not black. The tea was a normal tea color and um, of brown, and uh, but I had it in some water that was, that had some black, black gesso in it, so the tea bag itself turned black, um, and I thought it would be good to use it on this card. I obviously have more of it since I, this is just part of a tea bag, so I want to put this down, and the nice thing, as we've talked, as I've talked about before, um, is that you can see through the tea bag. Next, I'm going to put down a piece of lace. Um, I'm going to put it down. Um, I believe with some more of this matte medium because it's it is thin, and I think it it doesn't require the the fiber tack. So I'm going to put it down this way. And of course, there's some um, 
There is also some matte medium on this tea bag I just laid down. So that should hold well. Um, I'm gonna take my Lyra pencil and I'm gonna dip it in water, which is dirty water, because I've had my black gesso in it. And incidentally, um, lots of artists use that very thing is is the black is the water the um, water that they've used. This is not dirty enough to show up much, but water that they've used to um, create their projects over time, and then they use it to color um, their cards or whatever it is they're working on. There's that piece of hair. Let me see if I can get it off. Um, okay, so I think I'm done with this. Now I have not as yet, well, let's see, I'm gonna dry this and I'm gonna use my, well, maybe I'm not. I was gonna use my, oh, here it is. Okay, I'm gonna use my um, quieter. I'm still going to put it under the table because it's not as quiet as I had hoped it would be um, on camera. It's very quiet um, for me here. So I'm drying this because it's got a lot of um, matte medium and it has water that I just laid down from my dirty paint water. And um, anyway, it's not quite dry enough. I hope you had a, if you're here in the States, I hope you had a pleasant July 4th and that you celebrated with family and friends. And Okay, this is dry enough now. I'm going to take this, it's a chalk uh, pastel and I'm going to put it down in some places. And then I'm going to do something that I've not done before with you and that's to um, use a, um, to use a stapler. Uh, you hear my train? Sorry about that. It will be quieter once it passes the points where it has to sound the whistle. I have a train that's just really close to where I live. Um, okay, so I have Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. I'll show it this way so you can see that it's a tiny attacher. It's a stapler that has a very tiny and perhaps not loaded with, let's see, I don't know why it's not, maybe it's out of staples. And it is, so we're not going to use that. <laughs> a long arm stapler. It would, obviously, I don't need a long arm, but and hopefully this has got staples in it. It does. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna go from a tiny attacher to a long arm, and but it works fine. Okay, so the only I need to put down my Dina Wakely um, washi tape, and I selected this because it has a section that's orange and it sort sort of goes with this card I believe so I'm going to put it down over here and then the last thing I have to do is put down my word for today is inspiration and I've got um, on the back of it I have a, a tea dyed uh, cheesecloth that I'm also going to lay down with it. I'm going to put it down, both of those down with Fabri-Tac. I have a lot of black paint left over, so it will show up in something else. I told you that Fabri-Tac is a weird little glue and it has these goobers at the end of it if you don't wipe it off. Okay, so I'm going to put that down here. I'm not going to cover up my tea bag uh, label, and I'm going to kind of spread out the um, the cheesecloth. So there you have it. That this is for day uh, 34, 
and um, I'll be creating for day 35 shortly. Thank you for joining me.